and with an old van come breakages. If you watched our recent vlogs, you might remember that our hecky roof light blind broke while we were on the road in France. It's broken. Sean managed to do a temporary fix until we could look at fixing it properly when we got home. Now we are home and after some YouTube research, it was time to attempt a more permanent fix. What are we doing today, Sean? We are attempting to fix the blind in here because this string you can see is not where it should be no so this should be in there and it that what that does is it tensions both of these the uh, fly screen and the blind so when you pull one and the other it keeps them straight but a little plastic bit snapped so we need to try and fix it yeah so first of all we get this bit off I've started because I didn't know how to do it and basically I just put my fingers in these little grooves and gave it a pull and that seemed to work so cool. I'm going to do that the same on the other side because we've watched so many videos and no one seems to have made a video. Well, they're different depending on which blind you have yeah. it's a different concept and we think this is the midi the hecky midi yeah or oh, from no, those sorry, installations. The hecky mini right. which We'll put which one it is yeah, on the shows, <laughs> on the bottom. But that but they say that that one just pops off, whereas the other one we've seen um, says there's some screws. Yeah. So this one definitely is a pop off job. I yeah, think. it is, and it it is the same as the. Oh, they popped out. Um, that back one's being a bit of a bugger. So it looks like the this side got a little bit stuck because this side's only got two clips on it and this one there's four so they obviously can't count when they put them in. Um, so what I had to do is I put my fingers inside to hold this bit up and then got my fingers underneath there so I held that up and then just prized it off because otherwise if I kept pulling it would have snapped that so I just put my fingers on the inside like that and then prized it off and it's all come out in one piece so all good take it inside so, and uh, have a look yeah try and fix it cool. see you inside so the bit that is broken if you look on this side you've got an L and then a little bit there and on this side you've got the L but the other little bit has snapped off so what's happening is there should be a piece there which should hold it in place but obviously because it's snapped off the strings just coming out so what we need to do is we need to find a way of securing that piece of string there now we've watched another video and they put a small self tapper and they screwed it in there to secure the string. So that's what I'm gonna try and do today. So I've got my self tapper. I'm not sure what size it is because it was just floating around <laughs> in my screw box. So sorry, can't help you there. And the pilot bit it's about one and a half mil so that'll give you an idea hopefully of what size is is small um, so I am aiming to get this point in the other way in there so I'm gonna drill a pilot hole just here big that it pops out the bottom so that's about in line with the top so let's have a look at the bottom 
No, that look. Oh, is it popping out? No, that looks okay, I think. Yeah, no, that's all good. Moving, so that's all fine. Now, we had a little uh, dummy run of this, and I think this is, this is gonna be a two-person job. So basically, Emma's gonna hold these two spring springs here that have the uh, these tension the string so emma's going to hold those up like that and then on both sides and hopefully that will just give me enough um, loose string to pop it around the new um, screw that we've put in there so we'll see see if it works you got it yep There we go. Okay. So you can Is see on there that, that now the string is going round the screw that we put in there and then it's back on where that little clip was originally. So hopefully that should work. It's not gonna get caught cool. now. Let's see. I mean, that's under the trim anyway. Yeah. So you can probably see where I put that, that string isn't in line with the other string. So when I slide it forward and back, it's just catching the, the fly screen there. But hopefully that'll be okay. So I just want to say that we did watch another video. Um, and the chap told everyone to pull the strings right out. Now, when this broke, we made a conscious effort to not move the string around too much. So we've been in a position where we haven't had to remove the strings and restring it. Um, if we'd had to do that, it would have been quite a complicated process to make sure the strings were in the right way. But I think the way we've done it meant that we didn't have to restring it. So if it happens to you, I would suggest you try not to move the string around too much until you get to fix it. Um, that way you won't have to go through the rigmarole of completely restringing the blind. Just before we put it back, I just had a little thought. I've got some silicon grease there and I thought I'd just put a little bit of silicon grease on the strings and see if it makes any difference. And actually, you just put a little bit on, just run it on there. Just on each side. And actually it's made quite a bit of difference. It's sliding much easier than it was before. So, little tip, while you've got your blind down, just get a little bit of silicon grease. You can get it from Plumbers Merchants. Um, it's also called electrician's grease, so probably electrical uh, electrician's merchants as well. And just pop a bit on your wires. So let's see if it goes back as easy as we hope it's going to. So you've got your channels going all the way round, and there's in the channels you've got little bits of plastic to stop you putting it in the wrong one you've got corresponding things there obviously you took it off anyway so you should know which way it goes back but let's just see do you know what why don't i open <laughs> so you can see and then i can see <laughs> from the inside then that might be an idea Hilarious. There we go, well done. Oh, hey. Right, oh yeah, there we go, that's better. Let's see now. <laughs> oh, no. see that's only got one on there. I'd put the difficult side in first, the one that took me, took was tough to get out. Oh, watch your head. <laughs> It's in. It's not quite in this side. 
There was a little bit of a gap there, right. but yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it is. Is that it? Yeah, is that's it. it. All right. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let's hope it don't fall out while we're driving along. Yeah. Well, that'll be your fault. Oh well, of course it will. Because <laughs> everything that goes wrong is my fault. <laughs> Well, usually it's mine, so I'm just getting in there before you did. Right, okay, let's see if it works. Yay! That looks good to me. A lot better. Just saved ourselves £150. Yeah, well done. On a new one. There we go. So, if you have found the video helpful, please give us a like. And for more van life and motorhome travel videos, please hit subscribe, ding the bell so you know when we upload them, and we'll catch you on the next one.